Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Worge ubh, Dorit Kemsley debuts new love. Has RHA ubh star, Dorit Kemsley debuted her new love. The mother of two is separated from her husband, P.K. Kemsley, which will be discussed in season 14. Yet, has she found someone new to spend time with? Keep reading for more details. It has been a rough few years romantically for Dorit Kemsley. She and her husband, P.K. Kemsley, have struggled for some time. It really started after they were victims of a home invasion and Dorit was held at gunpoint. She just wanted to protect her two children, Jagger and Phoenix. Meanwhile, P.K. was still in London, so she was all alone. He rushed home the following day, but Dorit suffered from PTSD for a while after what happened. It did not help that she was robbed when she was shopping a short time after the home invasion. Her trauma was retrigged, and it felt like it would not go away. PK could not understand what his wife was going through, and he was not home all that much to help her through the pain. They allegedly split right before the RHOB season 13 premiere but denied that they were broken up. However, they did say that they had a very hard year, the same as Kyle Richards and Mauricio Umansky. Finally, before season 14 was set to start filming, they released a statement that they were taking time apart. Now, the new season will premiere on November 19th, and it looks like Dorit has a new man. She reposted a photo of herself on Instagram with a man named Javier Gomes. He had originally shared the snap and wrote, with my baby, followed by a heart emoji. They seemed very happy together, but it is unclear if they are an item or just very good friends. Per his social media, he is an award-winning artist based in Paris, NYC, and Lisbon. More so, Javier has worked with a bevy of celebrities and well-known high-end brands. Finally, he boasts nearly 50K followers. This is not the first time Dorit Kemsley has posed with a questionable male. When she and her kids took their Halloween photo, they posed as the Flintstones. However, no one had any clue who Fred Flintstone was. Who's that man? So you not gonna tell us who Fred is? Sonja Morgan voice, what are you doing here without pay? Yay, who's the man? You can't post a guy and not tell us geez. It caused a huge stir, but fans did not see that PK was tagged in the photo and was, in fact, him. As for Dorit's status with Javier, that is yet to be seen. Do you think they are an item or just very attractive friends? Let us know and watch RHOBH November 19th on Bravo. As the Beverly Hills sunshine poured over the rolling lawns of Villa Rosa, all eyes were on Dorit Kemsley her signature platinum blonde hair catching the light as she glided through the crowd. Her glamorous look that evening was a departure from the opulence fans had grown accustomed to. Instead of the usual high fashion and sparkles, Dorit was dressed in a sleek, minimalist white ensemble, paired with understated jewelry. The shift in her style, however, wasn't the only thing catching people's attention that evening. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star was ready to make a public revelation that had been brewing behind the scenes for months. Fans had been speculating on her every post, analyzing every paparazzi shot. But now, Dorit Kemsley was ready to reveal what everyone had been whispering about. There was a new love in her life. Of course, the RHOBF ladies were ready with their own brand of support and skepticism. Lisa Rinna, never one to shy away from speaking her mind, leaned over to Kyle Richards and murmured, Do you think this is serious or just another situation? Kyle arched an eyebrow and gave a small smile, her own curiosity piqued. Well, Dort knows how to keep us guessing, but whatever it is, I'm here for it. The anticipation buzzed in the air as Dort made her way to the small stage set up for the night's charity auction. In typical Dorit fashion, she began with a heartfelt speech about friendship, resilience, and personal transformation. She spoke passionately about the challenges of the past year, hinting at the soul-searching journey she'd been on. And then, with a coy smile, she turned toward the crowd. 
I have found a light in my life, she said softly. Someone who inspires me to be my truest, best self every single day. The audience leaned in, eyes wide, breaths held, as Dorit beckoned to the back of the room. Out walked a man, strikingly handsome with a calm, grounded demeanor that immediately set him apart. His rugged, yet sophisticated style, a touch of James Dean with a tailored edge, was unmistakably different from the polished, high-gloss energy of Beverly Hills. Everyone, Dorit said, her smile widening as she slipped her hand into his, meet Daniel. The guests gasped, and a few even clapped in excitement. It wasn't every day that one of the Beverly Hills ladies introduced a new romantic partner, and Dorit's new love had an immediate electrifying presence. Tall with dark hair and an intense gaze, Daniel exuded an air of mystery that only fueled the curiosity. But it wasn't his good looks alone that had captured Dorit's heart, it was his story. Daniel wasn't from the glitzy, drama-filled world of Beverly Hills. He was an environmental advocate who had spent years working to conserve oceans and wildlife. He was more likely to be found wading through the waves than at a high-profile cocktail party. They'd met at a charity event Dorit attended on a whim, one of those fateful, unexpected encounters that had seemed to be written in the stars. For Dorit, Daniel represented a refreshing, grounding energy she'd been craving. He wasn't dazzled by the spotlight or the glamour. In fact, he was a bit skeptical of it all. When they first met, Daniel had playfully called her out for being a bit too shiny for a nature guy like me, which had caught Dorit off guard in the best possible way. At that moment, Lisa Rinna leaned in closer to Erica Jane and whispered, Now, this is a plot twist I didn't see coming. Erica, with her trademark SC coolness, replied, Let's see how long this lasts. I give it six months, tops. But even Erica couldn't hide her curiosity as she studied the couple, noticing the way Daniel held Dorit's hand protectively, his gaze steady and reassuring. Throughout the evening, Daniel charmed the crowd with his stories of wildlife encounters and environmental escapades. Dorit, usually the center of attention, was content to stand by his side, laughing and glowing in a way that seemed lighter, freer. It was a side of her that had rarely been seen, even among her closest friends. As they mingled, Daniel shared with the guests his passion for sustainable living, and even revealed that he'd introduced Dorit to surfing a fact that had them all in stitches imagining her balancing on a surfboard in her luxury swimwear. Of course, the questions followed them everywhere that evening. Sutton Strack, who had a reputation for being direct, couldn't resist asking, so what does this mean for Beverly Hills? I mean, are you planning on trading designer bags for beach bags? Dorit laughed, glancing at Daniel before responding, oh honey, you can't take Beverly Hills out of me. But Daniel has opened my eyes to a whole new world, and I'm excited to embrace it with him by my side. Daniel added, with a grin, she'll always have her glam, but now she has a wetsuit in her closet too. The night wore on, with laughter, drinks, and an atmosphere that felt refreshingly intimate. But not everyone was completely won over. Kyle was hesitant wondering if Dorit's spark with Daniel could survive the pressures of the Beverly Hills spotlight. She made a mental note to pull Dorit aside later to have a little heart-to-heart. -heart. It was no secret that love in Beverly Hills could be as fleeting as the seasons. But for now, Dorit didn't seem to care about tomorrow's gossip or the inevitable scrutiny. She was genuinely happy, and Daniel's presence seemed to center her, like she had finally found an anchor in the waves of her chaotic world. By the end of the evening, it was clear to everyone that Dorit's new love wasn't just a casual fling. It was a deep connection she hadn't experienced in years. And as she and Daniel shared a quiet moment, watching the crowd from afar, she whispered to him, I'm ready for this. The next day, as the headlines buzzed with news of Dorit's mysterious new man, she barely glanced at them. Instead, she and Daniel were already planning their next adventure, a road trip along the California coast, exploring hidden beaches and connecting with conservation groups. 
It wasn't the Beverly Hills lifestyle, but for the first time in a long time, Dorid felt like she was exactly where she was supposed to be. The RHO Beach world might still be skeptical, but Dorit knew one thing, this love felt real, and she was ready to hold on to it.